Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. What was the bit of news you just heard about file sharing on college campuses? Um, if you'd like, I could read you that paragraph again. Yeah, that'd be great. And the source. Sure, it's found on dslreports.com. The title of the article is Proposed Bill Requires Colleges to Deter Peer-to-Peer -peer Piracy. That's hard to say. It says, how much responsibility do colleges have for deterring peer-to-peer -peer piracy on campus? Enough to jeopardize financial aid assistance of all students if the bill introduced to the U.S. House of Representatives gets passed. The College Opportunity and Affordability Act of 2007 would require all colleges in the United States to not only deter piracy on campus, but also to engage in alternatives such as paying for monthly subscriptions to sites like Napster for all students. So basically, they're saying they're going to try to require students to buy things like Napster when God only knows how many of the students don't even do this or use these sites or services. And also, they could be liable to take away their financial aid. That's insanely huge news. It's huge news, but I, I don't think it's bad news. Not by any stretch. I mean, if piracy is happening, piracy is happening. And if it's happening in a widespread basis... Let's see if I can go find uh, that similar article from someone else. If it's happening in a widespread uh, manner, then they've got to do whatever they can to... There's, a, there's a, a big article on CNET, too. I'm looking at it now. Yeah, that's the one I'm looking at, too. Yeah. New federal legislation says universities must agree to provide not just deterrence, but also alternatives to peer-to-peer -peer piracy, such as paying monthly subscription fees to the music industry for students, for all students, on penalty of losing all financial aid. So it's the college that would lose the financial aid from the government, not the individual student. And if the colleges Which... aren't following these mandates, then the college isn't going to get any aid. That means higher tuition costs for the students. Well, it can't mean that exactly, much more. Exactly, and we can't afford tuition as it is. Yeah. I can't afford to finish my degree. You know, I, 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 you know me. I've had major issues with student Same loans. Here. I've blogged about it so many times. I think the whole thing's a sham. But withholding financial aid, and federal aid specifically, and levying that... Alan, what do you think? That's a, you I'm know glad what? I live in Canada. Ah, uh, bah. You know, they could... I think it's wrong. I don't think that they no. should be... It shouldn't be it's on the college wrong. to it's... do this. I mean, yeah, they have to take measures to try and Wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, wait a minute. The, the issue but basically is, is that the college is the ISP when right. you live on campus. Right, but it's also... Okay, it's, so my it's ISP also a state just funded... happens to be Comcast, and yes, I don't want any Comcast sucks. But oh. it depends. Okay, wait, 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 wait. That's my wait, only alternative at wait. the moment. So basically, you know, Comcast should lose... Well, I guess it's not... Comparable, but well, Comcast these, are these are state, the state institutions. Well, exactly, and colleges are too, for the most part. I mean, they they're block state this institutions. And they block that, and but they're state you institutions. Expect, you expect them, the college, to pay this fee right. for okay. Napster or Wait. something for Wait. all their students, or you're going to take away all their funding. Wait, these are state-run institutions. The college is going to close down. Cat. Raising tuition enough to keep it open would not work. The, it, Basically, it, it, you can just. It, it, you can tell just by reading the policy that this was written by the record industry and then some representative in the U.S. government was paid to bring it up. Right. Exactly. I, I'm not challenging that. I agree. It needs to be worked through. But if these are state-run institutions, th it's a completely different policy than a private institution. Are they, are they drawing a clear line or are they saying that any college campus? What probably I'm reading any is campus any college campus in the, the United government. States. Yep. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I think the issue of, of piracy is rampant, and college campuses are breeding grounds for piracy. And Okay, one university of, I believe, Maryland, um, from Stanford, the president of Stanford, it says such an extraordinary, inappropriate, and punitive outcome would result in all students on our campus losing their federal financial aid, including Pell Grants and student loans that are essential to ability to attend college, advance education, and acquire the skills necessary to compete in the 21st century. Lower income students, those most in need of federal financial aid, would be harmed most under the entertainment industry's proposal. There you have it, under yeah, the entertainment, entertainment industry proposal. Say no more, say no more, can't touch it, can't touch it. You know what they need to do? The students need to go on strike. 
They, they need to bow. No more new uh, term papers. No. It goes on to say, it goes on to say, higher education community recognizes the seriousness of the problem of illegal peer-to-peer -peer file sharing and has long been committed to working with entertainment industry to find workable solutions. But only a small fraction of illegal file sharing comes from universities and colleges. Napster started on college campuses. Did it really? I didn't know that. Started in a dorm room. Well, on top of the, well, on top of the fact that's where it was invented, yeah. I don't know. I, I think it's uh, it's not a uh, a bad idea to. Uh, I can see where they're coming from. I right. really do. That's and I can understand. That's what I'm saying. Why they're trying to go, but I just I feel it's entirely too drastic. I really do. Well, it it it, it is you're drastic, but you thousands, if not millions, of kids and adults trying to get an education that don't do that. You know what? They're gonna find a way to send you another fee, no matter what. Doesn't matter. They're going to figure out a way to raise rates. They're going to figure out a way. You don't want to know exactly. what my opinion is on this whole matter. It, it's it's all a yes, scam. I do. It's a scam. It's a scam. This is hot. This is a hot topic. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's going it's to be a, debated. It's basically trying to control every like the, the government. The, these corporations are still in bed with the government. And, well, you know, they're going to do whatever they want. That's because the government they can. They're going to buy whoever they can. In order to get these laws passed. It, that's exactly what's going to happen it's because it's, it's it's not a government I anymore. That the, it's I a that it's a corporation. That, yeah, you know the, the universities have a right to police the traffic on their networks. So just block things like BitTorrent. You know they can they have the power to do that stuff. Well, that's what my school did. To, yeah, they have the power to go after each individual student and pinpoint who's doing what and you know. Write them up for it, but they're but they're Instead not. Of, uh, you know, they're not. So they should. okay, I'm not saying they should shouldn't, but what I'm saying is is that they're not. So for the entertainment industry, first of all, anything the entertainment industry uh, issues as a bill is just going to be inherently user unfriendly. Period. Uh, I think they're bringing up a good issue, but I think. As as Cat said, and as I think we all can agree with, this is just not the right way to take care of the issue. Absolutely. And we have to be very careful, especially when we're talking about state-run institutions, because then you're talking to something that is tied into the government. I mean, anything. I don't think a lot of people realize this, but if you're on a university uh, and you send email, that email is public. It's not private. It can be public. It's 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 not owned by the individual. Right, and I knew that, but a lot of you're right. A lot of people don't. They don't realize that anything in a state institution is it, it's it's just a whole different world than a regular public college. Precisely, or even private. On every level, yeah, exactly. So I I I I'll be interested in watching what happens. Obviously, I'm a little past it right now, but when I was in college, the problem we had with access is that we didn't have enough of it. We had like dial-up modem banks, you know, the fastest we could get was a 9600 baud connection. Couldn't even download text files on that, let alone, <laughs> they didn't even have MP3s when I was in college. We, we shared by floppy disks, that's how we shared, vi that's how we got viruses. Oh, cassette tapes. We, we recorded songs on cassette tapes way back when. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those were the days. Oh, if only. If only. Oh, God, 